The Windows object in a browser has a module called location that allow us to get information about the current route. Although we can use the location module to get the current route's information, however, the Rack Router library does provide us a hook function that can replace the location module in a Windows object. In general, if we're using the use location hook, we can get more information about the current route in comparison to use the location module in a window object. Let me show you how the use location hook works. We'll go to our public layout component and import the use location hook from the React router library. And just for demonstration, I'll console out the result of the hook and see what information is available to us. And now as you can see here, the location object contains a few properties. The hash and key properties are used internally by Rack Router, and we don't need to worry about them for now. Essentially, they are the unique identifier for each route that we registered inside the Rack Router. Path name represent the URI that we're currently visiting, and search is the query parameter in our URL. Let me show you how these two properties work. If I visit a contact page, notice that how the path name property has changed to slash contact. And if we manually add a query parameter to our current URL, let's see what would a search property change to. The search property would just be everything after the question mark in our URL. Now the state property is one of the most important properties in this location object. This is the main way where we can pass information across different pages in our React project. Let's look at an example. We will go to our home page component and let's create a button that will redirect us to the contact page. Now for us to utilize the state property inside the location object, we will need to use the navigate hook to perform the redirection. So in the button event listener, I'll go ahead and call the navigate function, but this time I'll pass in a second argument. Now the second argument is an object that could contain two properties. The first property is the replace property, and the second property is a state property. The replace option is a boolean, and if we set it to true, then this navigation will replace the latest route in the redirection history stack. In other words, if we set replace to true, that means when we click the back page button in our browser, the browser will be unable to return us to the previous page. Now the state property will let us to put in any arbitrary data that we would like to pass to the next page. In this case, I'll simply pass in a dummy object. And let's see what will happen in the location object now. Let's go back to the home page in our browser, and I'll go ahead and click on the button and take a good look at the location object that we were printing out in the browser console. We now have got a state property, and it is exactly the state that we pass inside the navigate function. We have just successfully passed a data from the home page to the contact page. And now you might be wondering, how could this be useful to us? Let's consider this scenario. Suppose we have an admin page that allows us to manage all the users. Now we would have a page that lists all of the current users that are using our app. Each of the table row represents a user record. And each of them would have a button that allows us to go to the edit page and edit the corresponding user's profile. Now logically speaking, we would need to call an API to get all the user information when we are at the first page. Upon clicking on a row, we somehow have to display the user information on the edit page. Now the question is, do we really need to call another API to grab the information of this specific user? The argument is that we've got the user data already in the listing page. Why don't we just pass the user information to the edit page? That way we can make one less API call to the server. And to achieve this, we can totally pass the user data to the user details page using the state property in React Router. So when we are visiting the edit page, the page will load directly without calling an API, and this will greatly improve the user experience in using the app. All right, we'll continue to talk more about React Router in the next lesson. Key takeaways for this lesson, the use location hook provides us an alternative way to retrieve URL information in contrast to using the location module in a window object. We can pass data to another page by utilizing the state property in navigation. We can do that by passing in another argument in a navigate hook function. That's it for now, and I will see you again in the next lesson. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.